Hello, uh, it's Grillenheimer. Yeah, I, I don't want to drag anybody down because that's not the purpose of this channel ever. But this channel has been around 11 years. I failed to eh, maybe celebrate 10 years last year. But this channel started in 2013. And, uh, and even when I started, I only did a video once every couple of months. Uh, trying to talk about the Bible, have a little lesson, as bad as they were. Sometimes badly out of context. Connecting it to a video game somehow for, for whatever reason. Thus the, the, the name of the channel here. And it was to help me... In various ways in speaking public speaking understanding uh, you know reading comprehension I used to be a teacher a long time ago not anymore and maybe for good reason I don't know but uh, especially when it came to the like these Sunday school Bible lessons I was doing uh, I wasn't it was very obvious I wasn't very organized. I will admit that. I will admit that. Now, and it was also to help also try to lift me up and end my nights on a positive note. Because ever since about that time, 10, 11 years ago, uh, there's a loved one who I love dearly. I will do anything for this person. Something happened. I don't know what. I don't know when. But I am truly hated because I'm a guy. I'm white. I'm a father. I'm a Christian. I don't know. Put a label on me. They have a reason to hate me. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get too personal. But it's, I don't know where the hate came from other than online. And this person is claiming I'm in a cult and everything is propaganda and, I, and I'm just like going up you're drinking the propaganda that's what has changed your attitude and flipped you from any sort of love into nothing but hate and putting labels on everybody I don't do that well you sit there with your arms crossed going don't judge me don't judge me don't judge me and mm, 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 mm. Mm, and acting like uh, a little brat they are again try not to get too personal here um, and despite the hatred despite the aggression despite what uh, this relationship is like rubbing against sandpaper I'll try to say certain things at certain times to get this person to think, maybe critically, crit critically think, to get them to maybe drip some positive information, some possibly archaeological information for them to, oh, maybe I should look this up. But no, I think it's all falling on deaf ears. And just, I'm holding my phone camera here. Uh, where they, they, they're, they're just living life with blinders on and following the pack, following the, the crowd. Uh, maybe not so much now as this person was 9, 10, 11 years ago. Uh, and it's just, it just breaks my heart. And I can understand, you know, because everybody makes fun of George Lucas in... Return of the Sith, Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith. That's right, the the, the third of the prequel. Uh, you know when Padme dies, and she dies of a broken heart. Well, that can happen in real life. It has happened in real life. I've seen it, uh, uh, and it's exp and it's affected my family. And it's not even it was any. It wasn't even anyone we were related to. And it happens. It's real. I just don't want that to happen to me. And I'm trying my darndest. My darndest. 
and you know scrolling on Facebook and, and seeing some stuff out there and I, and I see about uh, St. Cole in Alabama and it, and uh, and it's just falls. It's like somewhere in the north northern part of the state and that is also the northwest start of the, part of the state is where natural bridge is. I don't know if it comes together anymore. Uh, but there's just some beautiful, beautiful parks and places to visit around Alabama. My grandfather was alive. He took me all over the place. He, we palled around. I, we had, it was just a great bonding experience when I was a teenager. He let me drive most of the time. We did not have internet. We did not have phones. We used a physical map, the huge state map book, and flipping and finding, oh, well, let's look for this. Let's look for that. Uh, oh, I know where these covered bridges are. Let's go look for this covered bridge today, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go to the area where I grew up that's not really a town or city any, anymore. Let me go show you this. And we just went all over the, all over the place. And just I, I just enjoyed myself. I love the history. I love it, getting personal through my grandfather. Um, th there's a lot here. And seeing that little real thing in Facebook and just all this vitriol. I'm hoping half of them are just bots just meant to demean whatever state it's in. I'm hoping they're not real people saying, well, that should be a stink call instead of stink call, and that should be a blank call instead of this. It was just, and I, I, I'm just didn't say anything. I'm just clicking the likes on the people that say them, that Alabama is beautiful. And, you know, one person did claim, oh, I used to live there. People were nasty. I got out of there. I don't live in Alabama anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Spread the hate. You're doing great at it on Facebook. <laughs> and I hate to tell you, but there's two kinds of people in the world. People that care about others. And people that could care less about anyone else. And it doesn't matter what color you are. Or where you came from. Or what you believe in. Or what your religion is, is in. Or, or who you worship. Because I have known some people. Kids. That went to church when I didn't go to church. And they acted like little hellions. In, in high school. Oh, I could tell you some. And once I found out, I, I started going to church myself and, you know, found myself uh, uh, brought to God into the arms of Christ in the early 90s. And I started going to a church and realized, oh, a lot of my friends went to this church. And now they don't come here anymore because they moved. Or they, they went to college. They moved out of state because we were graduated. And, uh, and I'm like, so-and-so went here, so-and-so went here, really? They were terrible in school. Uh, so it doesn't matter, again, like I said in a previous video, just because you go to church does not make you a good person. Just because you're in love with Jesus does not make you a good person. If you have a relationship with Jesus and you're trying to walk his path, which is not very easy to do still does not make you a good person person it makes you a christian and that is something you have to constantly work at day by day in by day out but if you let yourself put on blinders and blind yourself to the world and everything that's going on around you to where you only care about yourself and nobody else that's far from christianity that's far from being a good person When you only go to church just to be with one friend and you, you don't care about the message, you don't listen to anything else, you don't participate, and then that, that friend ends up betraying you because they're horny in college or whatever, or they betray you in other ways, etc., etc., etc. People change. Change is a constant. 
and you have people that refuse to change. And you have people to say that say, oh, you can't change. How dare you change? We're going to throw you out of our club. You're no longer elite like us. Psst, get out of here. We're going to cancel you. We're going to delete you off of this and delete you off of that and delete you off of this. <laughs> You're dead to me, crap. Never heard of this stuff until the past 15 years. It's what the kids are doing now, and it's absolutely atrocious. It's absolutely vitriolic. It's They're not learning how to care about what they do, what they look like, they, they care how outlandish they look like, but they don't care what they do to the hearts of others around them. I've never seen such narcissism. Never. That's why we need Christ in our life. That's why you have to worship outside of yourself. Worship to God. That's the point in life. Worship, learn real love that ain't physical, and learning to care for others because you love other people. Not because of what they're virtual signaling for the day, not because of the, the symbol they have next to their name in a social media, not because of something they've said online that you just absolutely love and adore and, I love them. No. Actual physical contact. Great, there's a line from Ghostbusters I've never said but used before. <laughs> In the real world, I mean, there's this new term I'm hearing nowadays, going out and touching grass. Never heard of such a thing. That's kind of silly, but it has meaning. It means you're getting outside of your house, outside of your room, and doing something else other than social media on your phone, lying on the, your bed, like in the slave Leia position, as I call it. That goes for anybody. I used to be overweight. I can joke about being fat. I don't see why that stops anyone from joking about being overweight. You can't stop any, what anyone else says. You don't have control of anyone else's mouth. You don't have control of anyone else's fingers as they type whatever into social media. And then someone doesn't like it? Delete, block, 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 block delete, delete, remove. For some people, that's their entire life. That's just sad. I didn't mean to get on a bit of a tangent, but it, it, this is all very related, and it's all about the evils of social media. I don't even like VayTube here. And if you're monetized, you can't say the R word. The green, the green R word place... Jeremy from The Quartering has learned that and other YouTubers and other influencers that make money here or elsewhere. Because if they mention it on this platform, then that gets affects their views and everything and their algorithms. And I'm just, I find it fascinating. I find it very wrong. And I feel like even some years ago that I was being somewhat hindered. Uh, so I love every single one of the 103 people that are here. And I don't care where you're from, how you found me, how you got here, but I do need to do some more content for the sake of entertainment for the sake of bringing us all together. I gotta go, but I'm gonna mention this. Bringing us all together. Let me tell you something. My 15th birthday, I won't say that my family was split between my parents' as grandparents, my parents' as parents, but they were. It was almost as bad as the Hatfields and the McCoys. 
um, between my mom's parents and my dad's parents. So my 15th birthday, tried to change some of that. Because we had a birthday party at my aunt's house. Everybody from both sides of the family came. It was huge. And I kind of planned it. And I was wanting this. And I brought all of us together. And it was very, very memorable. And we had a good time. We had a black piano cake. Everybody's tongue. We all looked like we should have been in the band Kiss. It was funny. But that's one of my sub little goals for this channel since the get go is bringing us all together. Because I really think if you believe we'll all see each other and meet each other maybe for the first time when we pass from this test that is what we call life and it's a test of relationships it's a test of spreading the word of growing with us and help maintaining a relationship amongst ourselves That is real love. I could tell you one story after another. But I'm going to call it quits. We'll see you next time. More Transformer stuff. I've been very busy because it's the end of the, end of the school year. All, end of the college years. And I think I'm finally able to make some time to get some stuff out there. Get some more stuff done. Um, we'll see you next time. Praise be to God. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in.